Hello learners, welcome to our CRE Form 4 class and the topic of discussion is human sexuality. Now just to, to, to make a, a recap of what we did discuss in our previous class, we did introduce human sexuality and we defined what human sexuality is. We said this is what makes a man or female, a man or a woman rather, a boy or a girl, the biological or physiological composition of a man and a woman. Then we, we, we again went ahead and looked at um, the Christian understanding on human sexuality. Now today class, we'll be looking at the traditional view. What, to the tradition, what is the traditional view on human sexuality? Welcome all and let us learn. The station you're watching TV and your teacher is Roger Michira. Now, class, what is this traditional understanding of human sexuality? So they get to look at um, uh, the value, uh, they get to understand human sexuality in terms of marriage and also parenthood, right? They get to understand uh, human sexuality in terms of marriage and also parenthood. Look at that. We have, I have an image for you. Good. You can see that. Good. Now, if you can clearly see, Starting from the left, right, you can see a young girl, right? Next to the, 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 next to the, 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 the young girl, you can also see another, another girl there, right? Then we can see a man, right? Then we can see a woman there, right, who's probably the wife, right? Then you can see them carrying a small baby. I see that. So meaning that is married. That was a married part. That's a family. Good. So they get to understand human sexuality in terms of marriage and parenthood, right? Parenthood. They shall bring up children. Now they also get to understand human sexuality in terms of uh, uh, procreation, right? So procreation was the sole purpose of sex, right? And sex was practiced in marriage and it was regarded as another sacred duty, right? So sex was only allowed in marriage and the purpose of sex was for procreation now adultery was discouraged and offenders punched irresponsible sexual relationships were forbidden so those people who committed adultery sometimes could be stoned to death right their hands could be amputated right they could be banned right from the community for example look at our image there right Someone is being stoned to death there, right? So that is how adultery was punished. So anyone who was found of committing uh, adultery was highly punished. And also, in the, in the traditional African society, they get to view human sexuality in terms of virginity, whereby virginity before marriage was highly valued. So if a girl lost her virginity before marriage, she was treated with scorn, right, and punishment. Good. If a boy impregnated a, a girl, he was fined. So if a girl is found to have been not a, a virgin during marriage, right? So the, the wedding cannot take place. The, the girl is married off to an old man, right? As a fifth, tenth, eleventh wife. Good. A very old man. And also, in traditional African society, it was a taboo to discuss sex matters openly, right? You cannot discuss sex matters openly. Here, but we get that. The grandparents taught sex education to their children, whereby the, father, the, grandpa, the, the grandfathers could uh, take care of, of the boys and the grandmothers would take care of, uh, of the girls. And sex educa education was taught during initiation stages. During that period of exclusion, that is when the boys and girls were taught of sex education. Mm -hmm. We can get to see that uh, images there, right? Whereby grandparents are teaching sex education. You can see uh, the grandmother, grandmothers are, are with the girls, and you can also see uh, the grandfathers with the boys, right? So that is how sex education was taught. It was taught by grandparents, and it was taught during the initiation stages, during that in uh, exclusion period. Now, also, Free mixing of girls and boys was not allowed except, right, under great supervision or by, 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 by the elders. And we get to see that girls were married off immediately after initiation to avoid temptation of, of them engaging in premarital sex. So immediately after, after initiation, 
But there's that period of exclusion. This is when they were taught sex, the, the sex roles, sex education. Then after that, after the period is, is over, they were hurriedly married off, right? But again, in social occasions, right, in those occasions, girls and boys were not allowed to mix freely. They could only mix uh, or, or mingle with the, with the, with the presence of uh, or supervision of the elders. And also, the issue of uh, marital status, they get to understand human sexuality in terms of marital status, whereby husbands and wives were expected to relate to each other, whereby their parents and in laws according to the uh, community and custom. So meaning, the husband and the wife were expected to relate to each other, right? And also, we get to see that uh, the husband and wife, conflicts were, were, were solved through intervention of relatives. That is why, if, 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 it's the, if, if it is the wife who, has, um, who, is, um, who is accused of, uh, of, 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 of committing a certain uh, uh, mistake, right? So the husband could send the wife home, then instruct her to come uh, with the, the relatives, maybe 12 free, right? If it's from the, the husband's side, also the husband will come along with uh, some two to three relatives. So the issue of conflicts was solved, resolved through intervention of relatives. And also, there were specific calls and, uh, and duties of, uh, for either male or female in African traditional society. So you get that boys hey, were doing specific duties, same as to girls were doing specific duties. For example, boys, mostly it was, uh, it was for ant hunting. They were sent out for, for hunting, right? And, and, and looking after cattle. And, uh, and the issue of, uh, of, uh, of women, basically or, or essentially they were to in, in um, uh, they they, 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 they involve themselves in co collecting firewood and also helping in cooking can get to see that boys are hunting and now women women or girls are being involved in collecting firewood now class for our assignment can you get to state the roles played by boys and girls in traditional African society. And for a reference, you can get to use a reference that is on your screen there. That is the Second Christian Religious Education Student Book for KLB, the third edition. And as always, this is Edin TV, your favorite learning channel. Get contact us via contact address on your, on your screen. Stay tuned for another session.